You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. Hello everyone, welcome back to our Manchester United Realistic Rebuild on PES 2020. It is episode 2, and if you haven't seen episode 1, I do suggest you go and watch that one first before you come on to this one. We did begin the uh, league campaign. This, uh, well, in this episode, we've got two more fixtures. Crystal Palace away at Selhurst Park, and then, of course, uh, Watford at home. Um, but before that, we've got some transfer business to complete. Uh, we do have deadline day in the middle of this, so um, you know it's going to be a, it's going to be quite an exciting episode. A couple of things that have been uh, going on. Uh, first of all, we've had um, some responses to our negotiations. Uh, we asked for just over seven million for Marcus Rojo from Stoke. Um, they're offering just under seven, so I'm just going to accept it. I want him gone, to be honest with you. And I want nothing more said about it. The same um, with Lee Grant as well, uh, just under 500k. I'm just going to accept it. You know, it's not a problem for these players. They were they were never gonna never gonna feature in the side. So uh, you know, that's about it really. Um, elsewhere, some negotiations in terms of incoming to tell you about. Let's, uh, let's go and have a look. Here, Donny van der Beek. Uh, for those of you who don't know him, plays for Ajax, centre midfielder slash attacking midfielder. Uh, 22 years old. I think he's a really talented player. I'm surprised he also didn't um, try and force through a move, uh, to be honest, from Ajax, uh, along with Matthias de Ligt and uh, Frenkie de Jong as well. I personally didn't want to see any of them leave Ajax, but of course, two of them did. And I thought he might have as well, judging by the way that things were going. He's a really talented player, um, but he stayed. And as a result, we can try and sign him from Ajax. We're paying his release fee of 43 million. The problem is, um, you know, I don't know if he was too keen on a move to us. Um, we're proposing a salary of 70,000 per week. A release clause in there as well, which I wasn't too keen on. And uh, it said he wasn't you know, overly uh, optimistic about the negotiation. So we'll see how that one goes anyway, but that would be a, a really good signing for us. We'll see um, how that one plays out. But um, for now, we're trying to sim along to the next game. Hopefully we can get some news on his negotiations before the next the next uh, game, and we'll see if we can bring him in in time. I, I doubt it somehow, uh, but we'll see what happens. We do have an update. He's accepted our offer, actually. Wow, I'm absolutely shocked about that. Um, didn't even need to break a sweat, really. That's a real surprise. Um, we're going to come on to transfers elsewhere in a minute because I've got a couple of things to inform you guys about. First of all, that's a great signing. A uh, bit of a high price. You know, I'm, I'm not really... I'm quite stingy with money, uh, usually. I think there's, um, you know, a lot of uh, mad prices being flown around and I don't like it fluctuating too much but um, you know it's still a really good signing 43 million in the end and uh, I think we can work with that for sure he's going to fill in a hole uh, and he does influence elsewhere as well the other positions and we'll get onto that soon but having a look at some of the signings that are going around Chelsea have just signed Dimitri Payet for um, just under 14 million 13.5 million let's go into transfer market news here and see if there's uh, any more going about. I saw a couple that I really wanted to uh, to inform you guys about. There's one, Arturo Vidal going to uh, Atletico Madrid. Uh, elsewhere, Gabriel Jesus going on loan to Roma. Sadio Mane for 130 million goes to Barcelona. That will be why they signed uh, Memphis Depay then, you might remember from the last episode. Uh, they have to replace him and that's how they have. So, you know, maybe that works in our favour. We'll see how that one goes. They did, of course, sign the pie. They've also signed Diaz as well for just over 20 million from uh, Real Madrid. Uh, and they've also signed Bonaventure. Oh, my word. They're, they are going crazy. They've signed Giacomo Bonaventura from uh, AC Milan for 23 million. Uh, Stracosha from uh, Lazio for 24 million. Wow, they're going pretty insane. 
They are going pretty insane indeed. Elsewhere, Man City on left back Alex Grimaldo. 50 million. Surprised to uh, to see that. I mean, it's quite strange really because they have just signed Angelino as well from uh, Ajax in real life. Not Ajax, sorry, PSV. Um, in real life for about 8 million, I think it was. Um, so, uh, yeah, surprised to see him get another left back in. Meanwhile... Longstaff has gone to Wolves, so we won't be able to sign him anyway, even if we did. Just over 14 million in the end. Callum hudson Adoy goes on loan to Flamengo. I mean, okay, whatever whatever floats your boat, really. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's really the the um, you know the meat of the transfer window so far. I've got a feeling there's still more to come, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, meanwhile, I'm going to uh, sim along to the to the game now I think elsewhere unless there's any news in between and uh, we'll see how it goes I'll be back shortly turns out guys we do have some more news for you the Europa League groups have been drawn we have Spartak Moscow Royal Antwerp and FC Fun as well um, so listen we should be um, we should be coming through that group you know it's a, don't get me wrong there's going to be some tough games in there but we should be um, you know, making our way through that group. Elsewhere, Wolves got Sporting Lisbon in theirs, along with a couple of other teams. One of them is, uh, I believe, out of the uh, generic league. We will get that changed soon. Um, Everton are in it for some reason. They've got Besiktas, Basel, and uh, A. Alborg. Um, elsewhere, there should be Arsenal somewhere there. They have got um, Espanyol, Vitoria, Juamares, and uh, Lugano as well. So, um, you know, we would expect, generally expect all the English teams to come through. Everton are in a tough group, to be fair. I mean, I don't know why they're in it, to be honest, but there we go. I guess it's just to fill in the uh, remaining spots that are left vacated when the lack of leagues. But, um, yeah, certainly certainly a, um, a positive draw. Hopefully we can make our way through that comfortably. Um, but, yeah, that's about it, really. We, we are now going to advance onto the day of the game. Tough game away to Crystal Palace. Don't get me wrong, of course, in real life, they did lose this fixture thanks to some uh, last-minute um, disappointment from David De Gea, really. But nevertheless, you know, it is a tough game, but we've got to expect to win this one, of course. We've got to keep an eye on uh, the two wingers in particular, Wilfred Zaha and just Townsend and Patrick Van Aanholt as well. Um, you know, they're players that are very dangerous. Ashley Young on the bench against his former club today. We'll see if he makes an appearance. I might as well show you guys me doing the team um, along the way. Let's have a look here. We're going to um, we did mix it about a bit at the end of last game, but uh, you know we're going to send it back now. We're going to go with actually we'll put Boy on the bench as our centre back. We'll have Jamal Lewis as our left back. Um, I don't think I'm quite ready to put Jamal Lewis in the team yet. I was going to put him in, but it you know it's a tough one, especially if Zaha's switching wings. During the game with Townsend as well, I don't like the uh, that matchup, um, so we're going to uh, stick with Shaw there. Um, elsewhere, let's have a look what we got. Uh, we can have Fred, we can have Matic. I tell you what, we can put Fred, we can put Mata there. Uh, Mason Greenwood can come in, and then we're also going to put in our new signings as well, Donny Van der Beek. Question is, do I want him uh, in the team? I think you know what. Yes, I do. Bear in mind, we've also got to look at the arrows as well. You know, Scott McTominay, for some reason, has a downwards arrows on bad form. So, um, you know, perhaps we need to bear that in mind. Put Fred in instead because it does impact on their attributes, um, you know, their overall ratings and stuff. Um, so we are going to go with that for now. Donny van der Beek will make his debut. We're going to put Lingard out onto the right. Um, and I think we are going to go with that. So without further ado... Let's begin the first game of the episode against Crystal Palace. Well, good day to you. You join us on uh, a pretty wet afternoon here. The clouds have opened. And it is uh, raining, a little bit wet and miserable. The battle have got to put us off. We are all indeed itching to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this, in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be, with or without the rain. 
his uh, menu this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game in stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements. On Kick the off then, first away game of the season. Some rainy conditions. Can we make the most of it and get another three points? Zaha isolating his former teammate Wambi Saka, and Wambi Saka gets the victors there. Fred needs to offload it quicker than that. He doesn't. Space has opened up in the middle. It's a save from De Gea in the end. I'm not sure why he's getting that space in the middle of our defence completely. Wambi Saka gets the best of his teammate yet again. Oh, how is Maguire not winning that? Hits the post, comes out for the rebound. Wow, that is considerably lucky, extremely lucky. I can't believe that's paid off. Somehow Maguire doesn't win the challenge in the air. It bounces around. Our defenders don't react quick enough to it. Townsend hits the post the first time and somehow it just comes back out to him. How has Maguire not won that? Shaw doesn't follow up. He loses man, that is poor. Very disappointing as well. Just can't believe Maguire didn't win that in the air. I mean, that's his all day long, surely. And Townsend gets lucky. Comes off the rebound, 1-0. Yeah, yeah, that was good passing movement and straight from kickoff. We've got an opportunity and it's 1-1. Jesse Lingard with the goal. And United are back in the game, straight from kickoff. We just surge forward. And Crystal Palace, vulnerable after the goal. They get complacent. And that's a brilliant, brilliant response. Have a look here. Martial inside to Van der Beek. It's quick pay indeed. Almost what, two touch stuff. All four attacking players involved in that. In the end, it's Rashford who lays it off to Lingard. Great running. And Lingard goes through one-on-one, -on -one, only has to slide it past the keeper. Good finish, 1-1, one -one, back in the game. Oh. It's a good ball in the end. Martial looking for Rashford. Rashford, why does he use his right foot to shoot? Why does he use his right foot to shoot? It's a good passing play indeed. Rashford. Oh. Martial. Over to Lingard. He's got the overlap of Wambi Saka. He's slow to get that cross away, but he does. Wambi Saka going at the bar post. Sure on the volley. Deflected. Might be a corner. Oh, that might not might be under hit. No, it isn't. Straight to Rashford. Oh, he's got to do better there. It's a free header. And he gets under it too much. Oh, that's really disappointing. He'll be frustrated to himself after that. Why has he got so much space? Wan-Bissaka wins it off Zaha again. It is just constant. He has had Zaha in his pocket all game. Pogba wins. Rashford's in a good position here. Looking for Lingard. That's a foul. That's a free kick. In a great position. Just outside the area now. Pogba's free kicks last week were um, not really doing it for me. I think I'm going to change it to... Rashford and see if he can do any more. Rashford to go for goal. Oh, a little bit too far to the right. It's close though. Wambi Saka has just had Zaha in his pocket all day. Literally all day. He's in acres of space. Luke Shaw, he can't get the pass off. That's a terrible pass. Lingard. Need something. Need better movement than this. Pogba to come out to Shaw. Shaw. 
into Lingard. Lingard Van der Beek. Some quick passing movements now. Martial looking for the overlap of Shaw. He's going to find it as well. Van der Beek's there on the header. It's a save. Can't get onto the rebound. Straight out to Pogba though. Wan-Bissaka. Going to get into a crossing position to whip it in. And it's a corner. Pogba to whip it in. Rashford's at the back post. Comes out to Wan-Bissaka. Van der Beek is there. He'll go for goal. Lingard to nod it across. Martial goes. What a finish that is. And it's 2-1. Anthony Martial scores for the second week running. And it's a brilliant finish. It's out from the corner. Cleared out. Van der Beek ends up getting the ball. He goes for goal. Deflected to Lingard. Lingard nods it across. It's a brilliant header actually from Lingard to set up the opportunity. Really well done. And it comes to Martial. What a touch. And it's a great finish. Levers it into the top of the net. And that is unstoppable. 2-1. They bring on Max Meyer for James McArthur. They're going for it. We're actually going to make a sub or two as well. Looking at the energy here. We're going to actually take off Luke Shaw and bring on Jamal Lewis. wan knackered as well. But you know what? He has played really well. I mean, I don't know if I'll show it in the highlights or not. But he has had Zaha in his pocket all game. Literally all game. Without fail. Um... Looking elsewhere here. Lingard's looking a um, little bit tired, but it might be okay. Perhaps we just uh, stick with that for now um, and adjust accordingly. But it is Jamal Lewis to come on to make his debut for the club. We'll see how he can do in the final 15 minutes or so. Zaha is going to whip it in. Venteke to win that. They're going to have one more opportunity. He'll go for goal. It goes just wide. Wow, that was a big opportunity for them. And we didn't defend it well enough. Pogba can't stop the cross from Zaha. I think it's Maguire who doesn't win that header yet again. Comes out to Maya. Oh, no. That's not good at all. Wan-Bissaka played really well. I wondered why... Playing of playing is there, keeping him on. Um, you know, we just... I know there's only a minute left, but I better take him on just in case. I don't like that risk. And uh, we'll have to just... We'll have to bring on Eric Boy actually, just to fill in there for the last couple of minutes. Um, I wondered why in, in that chance then, Pogba was, was back or right back instead of why he wasn't tracking back, and that's why. Over to Van der Beek. Van der Beek, a little bit of space now. He's going to go to Lingard. Lingard is going to look for the overlap of Eric Boy actually. And Boy to whip it in. Rashford can't get there. Out to Pogba. Pogba will go for goal. It's a save. And look how many stoppage time again. They've played so much stoppage time, I imagine. They finally blow for full time. Yes, they will. 2-1 in the end. We get there after going behind to an Andras Townsend rebound. We reply almost instant, well, instantly. And then Anthony Martial with a brilliant effort on the 78th minute ensures that we take home all three points um, you know we were the much better team as the stats show we had more chances we had more possession um, and we were the better team but as I say there's still a lot of improvement to be doing um, well to be done but um, you know so far so good two wins out of two Arsenal drop points yet again this time away to uh, Aston Villa um, elsewhere Liverpool Chelsea Man City all win. Tottenham win. And we'll have a look at the uh, table now. Only, only four teams with uh, a 100% record so far. Brighton, uh, Burnley, Norwich and Tottenham also uh, undefeated so far. So, um, yeah, that was a really good, really good game to say the least. Now we do have transfer deadline day. The question is, do we want to make any more signings? Another cutscene is here. Obviously, we've heard that Huddersfield Town is looking to buy... Uh, Joe Garner, they've told me they need four hours to send over an official offer. Four hours to send an offer. That doesn't leave us a lot of time, but let's wait and see. Well, unless it's a loan offer, you know, I'm not really looking to sell him. He's a young player, he's promising. I don't think it would be um, it would be wise to, to sell him, to be honest. Um, but elsewhere, is there anyone else that we want to we wanna look at? 
Let's go and have a look into the game plan now. Um, in terms of squad depth and stuff, you know. We might be okay. I mean, now that we signed Van der Beek, it does mean we've got an extra right midfielder should we play Van der Beek there. Uh, he can play centre midfield as well. You know, it might be okay. I think that might see us through till January, actually. Um, in which time we'll, we'll analyse the situation then. But I think in terms of buying players, unless there's a an abrupt sale, um, I can't see us selling uh, much more. But we'll see how it goes. I'll be back with you guys um, if anything happens, really. So welcome back, everyone. You join me. We have had an offer for David De Gea. Now, his contract runs out next season and they've offered us 50, well, pretty much 58 million. Now, that is tough. The problem is Pez decides not to recognise the fact that we do actually have players out on loan. You know, we do have Dean Henderson out on loan in real life. Well, Manchester United have Dean Henderson out on loan in real life. But, you know, in this, he's not on there. And, and, and if that was the case, if he was on here, you know, we could say maybe we do sell him when we recall Dean Henderson and give him the opportunity because I think that's that's a real feasible situation. Oh, the question is, can we renegotiate with him maybe? Um, I don't know. It's tough. Let's have a look. Can we renew his contract? Let's see what um, see what he's saying. Weekly salary, three hundred and thirteen thousand. He's satisfied with our club, so negotiations should go smoothly. We'll lower it down to say one hundred and eighty-eight thousand pounds per week. Um, and in terms of the release clause, we'll keep it at sixty-six million for now. But you know, we'll see how it goes. This will take two hours. Let's see if he uh, accepts or not. Finalised with David Hay regarding his extension. But it looks like our negotiations have hit a bit of a snag. The player is open to the extension but doesn't think that your initial offer reflects his true value. He's sent back to the revised terms. Okay, so that's a start anyway. Uh, what does he want? Um terms of then a renegotiation he wants more money he wants appearance bonus as well uh, we'll lower down the weekly salary um, and we'll add a clean sheet option uh, as well and we'll see what he thinks he thinks about that that will take three hours apparently um, so now down to six hours um, will he accept this is the question last day of the transfer window we've got another cut scene here we we'll just do times asked by Joe Garner. Well, it doesn't make much sense to me to, to sell Joe Garner, to be honest. They're saying sell him for 900000 but you know, I, I just don't see the point in selling him. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense. He's a promising young player. I don't know why they'd only offer 800000 Um So we'll see how it goes. We've also, wow, we've had an offer for Paul Pogba from PSG. Um, now, that is very interesting. But first of all, we'll go to David De Gea. He has accepted our contract renegotiations. So we are going to go with it. A five-year contract extension. That is uh, big news indeed. And uh, therefore, we can reject the offer for him. Oh, my word. $115 million they've offered for Paul Pogba. The problem is with this, it's too late. I don't have the, the option to sign a player um, before deadline day ends. So, you know... Well, I'm not sure what they're expecting here. Um, he's got a release cl a release clause, you know. Unless they pay that, you know, I don't think I'm going to. Um, I don't think I'm going to accept it. To be honest, we just do not have enough time um, to renegotiate. Well, to negotiate with a new player and sign a new player. So we've got to go with that. Meanwhile, Joe Garner, we're going to uh, reject those that offer as well. You know, he is a young player, and we do. We do, um, you know, want to bed him into the team. Clock is ticking. Deadline day coming to an end. Um, I've just seen Phil Jones. Annoyingly, we haven't had an offer for him, I don't think. Um, which is uh, a little bit annoying. Looks like we've got more negotiations. Finally, yes, as I was saying it, an offer for Phil Jones from Everton. Let's see what it is that they are... Uh, that they are offering 14 million I'll take it no problem no problem at all um, so that's good we get rid of Phil Jones 
Uh, it's important to shift the dead wood out of the club, and uh, we have done that. It did look like we also had an offer for Axel Twanzebi as well. Let's have a look at this. They want to um, buy him permanently. I'd only look to loan him out. You know, he's a part of our future. So, um, you know, we are going to leave it there. But um, we've only two hours to go. It looks like that could be it. We're not looking to make any more signings, really. I think we are done for the foreseeable future. Jamal Lewis and Donny van der Beek are the two that we bring in. As a result, the transfer window does come to an end, guys. That's it. I'm going to say that's, uh, that is a decent transfer window indeed for us. Didn't have to make it too drastic. We didn't have to sign loads of players. And, uh, you know, we can uh, we can safely move on to the uh, first half of the season without having lost um, two bigger players. Have a look at this. Another press conference. It is the first game in the Europa League. We was, of course, going to show the Watford game, but I guess we will instead show the Europa League game instead. See if we can kick off our group stage with a win. Um, as they asked me, Chris, what's your game plan for the first match of the group stage? Um, I'm going to say it's just one match. You know, the first match is always important, but every match is when three points are on the line. What is important is not letting the occasion get to you. Nice political and diplomatic answer there. Don't actually answer the question. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we're going to move on with that. Let's have a look at the messages. Uh, a lot of stuff. The uh, team number for the Premier League, David De Gea, Harry Maguire. Marcus Rashford, monthly training report. Got some overall ratings increasing there, which is uh, good to see. Victor Lindelof, Diego Dalot, Luke Shaw, Joe Garner as well, and a few youth players. Uh, that's certainly good to see. Meanwhile, more scouting results, August earnings as well. I'll have a look at all of that um, off screen, really. But um, for now, we're going to uh, we're going to go into the lineup, see what see what we can do in terms of uh, you know rotating the team and uh, so on and so forth um, the question is do we do we go same again do we change it around a bit I think we'll bring Scott McTominay back in for a start um, you know what we'll bring Juan Mata in um, see I'm tempted to put uh, Anthony Martial up front because he's been scoring but the fact he's been scoring means that it's working him coming in off the left so maybe we keep him there actually um, we're going to give Mason Greenwood an opportunity instead of Marcus Rashford. Why not? The 17-year-old uh, coming in and seeing what he could do. Jamal Lewis will get a start. Um, oh, put him in for the wrong player. They didn't mean to do that. Um, as will Diogo Dalo as well. Um, two fullbacks will change. For the centre-backs, we're going to bring in... Oh, do we bring Fosimenta to Andrea? In fact, you know what? We're going to bring them both in. We're going to give them both an opportunity. We're going to go major changes here. Garner can come on the bench um, for Fred. Daniel James can come in for Lingard as well. No, in fact, we're going to keep Lingard in because he's got an upwards arrow. So, yeah, it's going to be the team that we're going to go for. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of changes there. Hopefully, it's, um, it doesn't affect us too much so we can see some players really... Um, giving us some food for thought for the next game. But we are going to go ahead with that. Time to begin our Europa League campaign. Kick off then. Can we begin the Europa League group stage with a win? Split off. Oh, that's very close. Scott McTominay with a really good looping header over to the uh, return post. In the end, it's just wide and lucky. Oh, good passing play here. Comes out to Martial. He'll go for goal. Forces a great save from the keeper. And I'll kick it away for a corner. It's good build-up play, that was. Could have uh, whipped it in there. Come out to Pogba on the edge. He'll go for goal. Close again. We're probing here. Just don't quite have that finishing touch yet. Decent effort from Pogba, though. Good run from Mata. And it's slotted through to Greenwood. Greenwood, opportunity to score. Great finish. 1 0. Mason Greenwood, the 17 year old, gets his first goal in his competitive debut. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work 
It's brilliant play indeed. And it's really good build up. Look at this, some uh, good passing movement. And Mata can slot it into Greenwood. Good run. And it's a good finish as well. Must apologise. I say competitive debut. I meant first start of the season. Not actual competitive debut. But nevertheless, doesn't matter because we're 1 0 up. And it's a good finish from Greenwood. 1 0. What is going on? Matter. It's a good build up play. This is. Oh, that is brilliant play. What build up this is. Greenwood to make it two. And there it is. What a goal that was. Absolutely brilliant. From at the, our own end of the pitch to the other. And it is fantastic build-up play. Much better. We haven't seen something like that yet. Since we've uh, started this season. But finally, we show some, uh, some class. And we're going to have to go back here and watch it properly. Because uh, they're not going to show the full one. In fact, they only show half of it. That's a bit annoying. Okay, what a brilliant goal that was. 2-0. Mason Greenwood yet again. McTominay. Looking for the run of Martial. Comes out to Mata. Good play. Great save from the keeper. Another corner. One well, Mata coming close this time. And you know what? He's having a really good game. He's played very well in the hole. And uh, he's definitely giving me food for four indeed. Unlucky. Matter, Martial. Lingard out to Delo. He's going to come into Greenwood for his hat trick. Oh, it's a save. Can Matter get to the rebound? Not quite. Comes out to Lingard. Pogba. Delo. Martial. Can go for goal. Another save from the keeper. We're coming close yet again. Really. Um, asserted our authority onto this game now. This time it's Martial. We have a good opportunity, and the keeper is having a good game. Lingard coming out to Martial. Peeled off. What a goal that is! Anthony Martial. Three goals out of three. And that may even be better than the one he scored in the last game. Just picks a ball up. Lingard gives it to him. And it opens up for him. Just has a go. And it is a brilliant strike. 3-0 now. And we've almost, well, pretty much sealed the game here. Martial has had a brilliant start to the season. Maintains his run of form. Great finish. 3-0. And you know what? We're going to make a couple of subs there as well. Take off Martial, actually. Keep him fresh for the weekend. Bring on Daniel James. Um, who else can we bring off who's playing? Maybe we can bring off Pogba. Bring on Joe Garner as well. Um, and he's thinking, do I want to take Lingard off? Do I want to keep him on for the game? Maybe, uh, maybe bring Rashford on or something. Um... No, you know what? I think we'll I think we'll keep it like that. Joe Garner wins well there. And they've committed men forward and we can hit them on the break now. Garner. He's got that run of matter. Oh, poor from the defender and he sends one matter through. He's all over him. That's got a bit that's a penalty all day long. That is a penalty all day long. Dear me. I'm not sure how you can't class this. All right, well, not a, all right, a free kick then, but it's a foul. And he's going through on goal. Ugh. Play out. There it is. 3-0 in the end. A really good performance. Dominated um, our opponents today. Mason Greenwood taking the spotlight, though. 17-year-old with two goals. Played really well. And he's giving me some food for thought about starting him in the next game, to be honest. That's really how well he played. Look at that. 13 chances in the end to their four. 
probably should have scored more actually but we'll take that nevertheless it's a good solid win um, and a uh, pleasing way to kick off our Europa League campaign Spartak Moscow also get the win against Royal Antwerp as well so uh, you know we'll see how that one goes next up we do have Watford and uh, probably not going to play that game next episode we'll show you the highlights at the start we'll probably come back for that Tottenham game actually that is a big game indeed so we'll see if we can uh, maintain our form. But so far, so good, guys. We are um, three unbeaten, three wins out of three in all competitions. So that's a great way to start the season indeed. Um, and hopefully we can maintain that. But for now, I think we're going to round it off there. Let me know if you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Get me in the comment section down below and tell me what you think so far. Do leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. And also subscribe to the channel for more regular content. On that note, we are going to round it off there. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Come on.